Today, I'm going to show you a quick practical way to clean up noisy music or precisely trim down an audio track to make your entire video sound incredibly tight, bypassing the frustrating manual steps often required in older editors like Clipchamp. First things first, make your way over to the Wizard platform, assuming you already have an account set up, which is a surprisingly painless process, and immediately initiate a new project from the main dashboard. Next, take your potentially long source video file and that separate accompanying audio track, upload them both into the media bin, and then smoothly drag both clips down onto the editing timeline, placing the video layer above the audio layer, just as you intuitively would in any other professional application. Now, the goal is to either trim away some of that unnecessary introductory music or compress the overall track length. So you need to decide if you are okay with deleting sections or if you absolutely need to preserve every single second of your original recording. Method one, which is the classic trimming approach, involves simply selecting the audio track and locating those visible trim handles that appear right on either end of the clip boundary for direct manipulation. You can effortlessly pull the front handle inward to instantly cut off the beginning and then drag the back handle inward to precisely snip away that unwanted tail, making the adjustment process incredibly intuitive. Should you ever accidentally clip too much content during this manual process, simply drag the handle back out because Wizard retains that simple undo and drag behavior, ensuring you never permanently lose your creative flow. Crucially, this trimming method permanently removes those seconds from the timeline, meaning they are gone unless you hit undo or re-import the file. So proceed with caution if the deleted audio segment is particularly important. This approach is fundamentally similar to Clipchamp's green handle trimming, but Wizard significantly enhances the experience by layering in much better visual waveform previews so you can actually see where a strong beat drops or exactly where a vocal phrase concludes. That superior visual feedback makes it substantially easier to trim the clip right to the exact moment you were aiming for, removing guesswork from precise cuts. Therefore, if you are in a situation where that specific audio content must be kept, but you still need the clip to fit into a shorter duration, you should absolutely pivot to considering method two. Method two involves the speed adjustment, where you select the audio clip, open its properties panel, and then use the dedicated speed control slider to shorten the clip's overall duration without actually deleting any content from the timeline. When you bump that speed up just a bit, the clip shortens proportionally on the timeline, effectively compressing the time needed while retaining all the original sound data. Be mindful that if you crank the speed adjustment too far, the pitch and tempo will slightly shift, so always listen back to ensure small tweaks are acceptable for background music or ambient sounds, but for music featuring vocals, subtlety is key. Visor truly shines here because it allows you to preview the speed change instantly, saving you massive amounts of time that would otherwise be spent guessing and re-rendering the entire section. An extremely important alternative comes into play when your audio is tightly tied to a specific video clip and you absolutely cannot afford to mess with the visual timing of that video frame sequence. In that scenario, you should opt to detach the audio instead of editing the whole composite clip by selecting the clip, choosing Detach Audio from the Properties menu, which frees the audio onto its own independent track beneath the video. This separation allows you to freely trim or speed up the audio track independently, ensuring your video frames remain perfectly intact and perfectly timed to their original context. This technique is fantastic for situations where you want a fast-paced montage feel with a punchy soundtrack, but the underlying source video clips must maintain their original specific durations. As a pro tip, detaching the audio is one of the simplest and safest ways to experiment with different timing adjustments before committing to a final look. You can try trimming the audio first, immediately listen back with the video, and if it feels too rushed or awkward, simply undo and switch to a slight speed adjustment instead, playing around until the feel is exactly right. This iterative process is precisely how you achieve those polished edits that never feel jarring or obviously chopped to your viewing audience. To accelerate your overall workflow significantly when you need to make the exact same cut across multiple different clips simultaneously, hold the shift key and click to multi-select all the required tracks before dragging the trim handles. Visored robustly supports this multi-item editing feature directly in the timeline, allowing you to shorten an entire block of clips or numerous audio layers in one single cohesive move. This functionality becomes super handy when you have a batch of similar segments, perhaps from different speakers, that all require the identical tightening treatment. Now here's where Visor truly starts to feel different from other basic tools. The platform is fundamentally engineered for creators whose primary job is transforming lengthy content into those short, highly shareable clips for social media. So while you are meticulously cleaning up the audio, Vizzer can simultaneously let its integrated AI analyze your entire long video to suggest specific short clips that already feature neat punch-in points and natural sounding audio transitions. This sophisticated capability means you no longer need to manually scan through hours of raw footage just to locate the genuinely good highlight moments because Vizzard surfaces them and even proposes the optimal pacing for you. Contrast this with tools like Clipchamp or other basic editors where you are still forced to hunt and peck for every single highlight highlight yourself, which dramatically slows down your output. Taking a quick comparative look, Premiere Pro is undoubtedly powerful, but often feels like massive overkill and costs too much if your main goal is simply batch creating many social media clips. Descript excels beautifully at transcribing and editing based on text, but it is significantly less friendly for the crucial steps of scheduling and cross-posting your finished content. CapCut is fantastic for quick edits on a mobile phone, but it becomes cumbersome and clunky when you need to manage a full multi-platform content pipeline from a desktop environment. Vizard cleverly blends that necessary auto-editing for viral clips 
a built-in content calendar management system, and automatic scheduling, allowing you to turn one long recording into a full week's worth of posts without constantly babysitting every single upload. Returning to the final step, once your audio and video components feel perfectly aligned and polished, you simply hit the prominent export button to finalize the project. In the export settings, choose your desired quality, remembering that 1080p is usually the perfect balance for most social media platforms, and initiate the rendering process. Vizard will then efficiently render the file and give you the option to download it directly, or if you are utilizing the content calendar, you can queue it straight away to publish across your linked social channels. That seamless integration is the subtle time saver. Not only are you producing higher quality clips much faster, but you can also set them to publish automatically, reclaiming your entire day. Before concluding, here are a couple of quick real world tips that I always stress to creators who want professional level results on a tight schedule. Height. First, always leverage the waveform. Visually matching your trim point exactly to a quiet gap in the waveform will prevent those awkward cuts that chop a syllable right in the middle of a spoken word, which Vizard's clear displays facilitate. Second, avoid overspeeding any music that contains vocals unless you are prepared to go back and add professional pitch correction because it quickly starts sounding unnaturally fast and robotic for your audience. Third, always detach the audio before trimming if the original video timing is crucial to the project's integrity, as messing with the video length can introduce difficult synchronization problems you absolutely do not want to have to fix later. And finally, utilize those multi-select trim features whenever you are batch editing a series of similar clips because this will drastically cut down your overall editing time for repetitive tasks. Furthermore, make sure you dedicate a moment to A-B testing your final output by exporting two slightly different versions, one with subtle trimming and one with a small speed up, and post both to gauge which style garners superior viewer engagement. Vizard's automated editing capabilities will actually assist you in quickly generating both versions, and the integrated scheduling means you can stagger their release times without needing any manual uploads on the day they go live. To summarize the audio cleanup process in Vizard, use the trim handles for direct cuts, utilize the speed control to compress without losing content, detach audio when video timing is sensitive, and always employ multi-select trims for batch operations. The true competitive advantage over plain, non-AI editors is that you can seamlessly combine those fundamental audio edits with Vizard's AI-driven clip selection and automated scheduling, effectively building a content creation pipeline instead of just polishing a single video. That comprehensive combination of features is what genuinely makes the difference when your objective is to rapidly grow a channel or simply maintain a highly consistent and professional posting rhythm. If you found this walkthrough extremely helpful, please follow along because I will continuously share more actionable tips designed to help you spend drastically less time actually editing and significantly more time focused on creative production. And if you are currently juggling a massive library of long recordings and need an efficient system to squeeze out multiple short clips without sacrificing quality, I urge you to try Vizard's auto editing combined with the content calendar, which is my personal secret weapon when editing shouldn't be the primary bottleneck in your process. All right, it is time for you to go trim that audio content, make all your edits incredibly tight and polished, and get those high quality clips out there to your audience immediately. If you would like a more specific demonstration, feel free to drop a link to a sample clip in the comments, and I will personally outline exactly what I would trim and the precise reasoning behind every single adjustment I make. That is the power of this workflow. It brings polish and efficiency together. So go ahead and implement these steps to achieve better audio faster, and I will see you in the next tutorial. Peace out.